Let's take a look at how we can really quickly get some boundaries of OpenStreetMap in QGIS. Let's imagine we want to get the boundary for Central Park in New York City. First of all, we want to have a base map, so we need to make sure our browser panel is visible. Go to View, Panels and Browser. Yours may already be visible, so that's fine. From here, we want to go to the section which says X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z tiles, expand it. I've added lots of other ones, but the one you want to add and the one that should be there by default is OpenStreetMap. If I double click it, it will add. Then I'm going to zoom to New York City and into Manhattan, and then we'll zoom into Central Park, which we can see in the middle of the screen. What we want to do now is enable a plugin. If I go to the plugins menu, I will then select manage and install plugins. The plugin that we want to use is called OSM Info, one word. I've already installed this, so I don't need to reinstall it again, but there is a newer version available, so I'll click on upgrade plugin. To install it the first time will take a few moments. It's reinstalled successfully, so I'll click close. Then you need to locate it on your toolbar. Now, it may get grouped together with some other tools. In my case, it's up here, but this is what it looks like. It's just like a little arrow and it works very simply. You click a point and anything in OpenStreetMap at that point will pop up. The more features there are, the longer it's gonna take. So let me click that tool and I'll click right in the center of Central Park. And what this plugin is doing, it's now looking up all the features at that location where I clicked and it's gonna return a list. Now, if there's loads of features there, like there will be here, what's gonna happen is it'll take a bit longer to find them. But we've got one called Central Park and you can see when I click on different things, any geography that I clicked on is there so we can get the boundary for New York or Manhattan. In this case, I just want Central Park. So I've selected it and then with a right click, I can choose save feature in new temporary layer and it's gonna add it on the left-hand side to the layers panel. So let me close this. And when we see that little microchip icon that tells us that it's a temporary layer. So I clicked on it, this comes up and we're gonna save the layer. So I'll just click on the browse button here and choose where to save it to on my computer. I could save it as a geo package or any of these other formats. For now though, I'm not going to save it as a permanent layer. I'm just going to double click it and I'll change the style a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to inverted polygons. I'll make it black. So we're using it as a mask, but it's a bit dark. So let me change the fill. Okay, so I'm, see, I'm using it as a mask, but what I'd really like to do is I'd like to give it a little bit of space. So I'll also apply uh, a different style to it and simple fill is what it's on. I'm gonna change simple fill to geometry generator and let me buffer this. So I'll type buffer, comma after geometry. I think the units of this data set will be in meters. So if I do minus 500, that should give us a 500 meter buffer around it, which it does. I use 500, but that's probably a bit much in this case. Let's just use 200 and hit apply. And that works fine. The reason I used a minus there is because it's an inverted buffer fill. And let me change the stroke color to no line. Okay. So that's a little trick to get a boundary out of OpenStreetMap from within QGIS and then with that boundary, we can do things like this. And if we want to save that layer to a permanent layer, like a shapefile or a geo package, I just click that little icon, which is a little microchip kind of thing. So hopefully that'll be really useful for you and you'll be able to use that in your work.